Hi, welcome to Gadget Cafe TV. I'm going to show you the classic uh, coffee machine against the professional Gadget GD machine. Uh, the similarities in terms of the frothing part of it. The frothing arm on the 2019 classic is a professional steam arm. Uh, so you can actually see on the GD, which is the professional uh, uh, range of coffee machines. This is the the two group GD, which has got a professional steam arm. You can see that it has got a, a nipple at the end, very similar to the Gadget Classic that we have here now. So the Gadget Classic has got a, a professional steam arm. I'm going to show you how to steam milk. You can either do it uh, with a lot of air going in because it doesn't have the same system as before where we had a panarello frother where air goes in at the top and therefore stretches the milk. Here, like with the professional machine, you have to add air yourself. And it's quite powerful. So I'm going to get some milk. This, the first time I'm going to show you how to froth the milk and stretch it as much as you can um, rather than do it for a flat white. The second one that we will do, we'll try and do it for flat whites. So I've got about a third of milk uh, and then I've put it to steam. So let me get a little bit of steam out and then I'm going to froth the milk. I'm just going to let the nipple just below the surface of the milk and then open the steam one. If I want to stretch the milk, I have to bring the jug down as the air goes in and it starts to stretch the milk. So this is the difference between frothing it for a cappuccino where you want a lot of froth or for a flat white where you don't want a lot of froth. So once I've got enough air in and it has stretched, now it has almost doubled and the temperature is not quite there yet. I can stretch it further if I wanted to, but if I have got enough temperature, I can just go up, immerse it fully and then switch it off. So that has now got a lot more froth, as you can see. Always clean your steam wand and get a little bit of steam through that cleans the whole thing. And if you look at this one, this is actually the same sort of system. So this also you will just put it just below uh, the surface of the milk and then open the steam wand. Obviously professional machines are a lot more powerful so you need a bit more control over what you're doing. So if I open that you can see how powerful that is. Uh, whereas on the classic, the classic is quite powerful. I'll open this one just to show you. So that's quite powerful too. So if you wanted to make a, a cappuccino, and you wanted to add so this is for a, a usual one-third coffee, one-third milk and one-third froth. You can pour it in. You can see how frothy that is. And that would be your cappuccino uh, coffee. If you wanted it as a flat white, we want to actually let as little air in as possible. So I'm going to try that one now. I'm using a, a smaller jug.
Now I'm going to put it in. Just a little bit of air in first of all. Just to get a little bit of uh, air in to prop it and then immerse it fully. And that then will not stretch anymore because I haven't, I'm not letting any air in. So it's just beating it up completely inside the milk and I wait till the temperature comes to about 65 degrees. I'm touching it with my finger to check the temperature. Switch off. So I've got a very flat milk here and if you hit it and mix the milk and the cream together you'll get a really nice creamy finish and that's what you need for your uh, flat one So that gives you a flat white rather than a frothy milk that we did before. So that's how you would actually control the air going in. When you want to uh, control the, uh, for, it, for it to be frothy, you need to add more air in. So leave the nipple just below the surface of the milk. Uh, what I, when I say that part of it needs to be just below the surface of the milk and then when you're opening it it'll add some air at almost the surface and you bring the jug down and and let more air go in and that stretches the milk if you wanted to have a flat white you would just get a little bit of air in initially and then immerse it fully to froth the milk uh, to to heat the milk and that's how you would get a, a flat white so I hope that has been useful to you. It's very similar to the commercial system. So if you are used to the old type of Panarello frother, a little more practice is needed to work with these professional steam arms. But they are once you have got the hang of it, it would be perfect. I hope you would enjoy uh, uh, making lots of different milky drinks for your for yourself and your guests. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and go on to our website gadgetdirect.com. Thank you.